Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise Ahaya, everybody. Praise Ahaya one more time. Praise Ahaya from whom all blessings flow. Amen and amen. This is your sister Carrie Ann in Yesiah the Christ, Yesiah the Messiah, Yesiah of Nazareth. If you want to know why I call God Ahaya and the biblical Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Yesiah, I've done a video concerning that one okay link in the description box and pin comment section okay greetings to the 12th scattered tribe of yashahel yashahel is the name given to uh jacob jacob name was not changed to israel that is not true the proper hebrew name is yashahel so i greet the 12th scattered tribe the hebrew yashahelites scattered all over the world in 2022 hidden by the dirt of caesars which the most high is going to reveal us very very soon hallelujah i greet you all in the precious name of the most high and to the beautiful body of christ the church i greet you all in the precious name for soon coming king yesiah you can skip this bit i'm going to do a bit of housekeeping you can skip it and go to the main message all right all right remember brothers and sisters the listen the dirty devil the, the scammers had a field day on a couple of my videos that I did yesterday. Apparently, they're all over in the, <laughs> in the comment section pretending to be me. Now, when I make a comment, when I pin anything um, of mine, my name, Sister Carrie Ann, is in solid gray border. If it's not solid gray border, um, that's a dirty devil. All right. And some of you may see a little tick beside my name now. Apparently, I've been verified by you you all right that's what they say so um so there's a there's a there should be a little tick beside my name i don't know when it's going to show up all right because i use a mobile i don't have a laptop well and yeah i don't have a laptop or a pc so i use mobile and they say that the tick is it won't show on the mobile so if you see a tick against my name could you let me know it's me so it's going to be a solid gray border and a little tick i think all right, so that's me. But it has to be solid gray border. All right, because these dirty devils, they can still pretend to be me. Write my name and put a little ticky beside it. No, it's got to be solid gray border still. And a tick should come up. I don't know when it's going to come, but it should come sometime soon. All right. Um, Where was I? Yes, brothers and sisters. And if you're not saved, please watch a video to the end. We do a sinner's prayer and we have um, our backup channel where we do praise and worship. If you want to subscribe to that and listen to some praise and worship, um, you can do that. We appreciate it. Hallelujah. All right. We do something called the top 20 brothers and sisters in the most higher. And this is a top 20 brothers and sisters on a very powerful video concerning the hybrid disease from doing the anky panky, which we call monkey pee monkey pox but for the purpose of the video i don't want to be calling calling up the name because the dirty bots don't like when you speak the truth so um yeah we call it monkey pee all right this stuff this is a sexual hybrid disease don't let the dirty sleezers tell you that oh it's like chicken pox no you get this is carried in the semen of the man you need to watch the video, very, very powerful video. You need to watch it, get up to speed. This thing is going to spread like wildfire through the Anki Panky. Through Anki Panky. What is Anki Panky? There's little children watching me channel, so I don't want to, you know what I mean, Anki Panky, the man and the woman doing their thing. All right? So this is going to spread. It is going to spread that wildfire, brothers and sisters, so be careful. If you're promiscuous, stop it. Not good. Stop. But anyways, all right, brothers and sisters. So, um, and um, yeah, so these are the top 20 beautiful beloved underneath that video. All right. Where am I? Okay. Tashanda, Sela. Tizra. Israel, Joselle Cooper, Leanne King, Shanna Fisher, Emma Scarlett, okay, Sharika Henry, Solly H, Theodora Many, Ashley Dinger, Sister Joannette, Emma J. Massa Chaka, Renovate DMV,
okay? All things made new, Yaz daughter. Beauty and the light. Sha um, call Shakira ready. Um, Edna Gayase. Kat, um, Kaj Royster. Tishaldon. Paulette Allen. All right, and the last one, the devil is a lie. Okay, Sharice Lane, Wakima Carson, Sister T, Nicole Thomas, Paulette Allen, Avon Harris, and Fearless Matrix. Top 20, but a bit more than 20. <laughs> All right, brothers and sisters, in underneath the very anky panky video all right remember to like subscribe watch video to the end it just helps with the reach on this channel all right we are near we're not only near to the um to the returning of the beautiful messiah but we're also near to the revealing of the dirty antichrist and the lawlessness of sin what is the lawlessness it's the nwo the dirty sleezers call it the nwo we call it old when you spin the word around you get the word own brothers and sisters and that's what it is satan will own this whole entire planet earth for a period of time it is coming up all right and it's you you have to know Yesiah for yourself okay we have a prophetic theme song so the prophetic theme banner is called we are near prophetic theme song is called we are near it's a song that my good old mommy taught me when i was a little girl all right and um and the song goes out there it's fitting song for these end times how near you are, oh near, you are, oh near, you are, oh near, oh near, you are, oh near, you are, oh near, you are, oh near, hallelujah. Yes, we are near and we can sing that song with right confidence. All right, brothers and sisters, I have to give this vision now because I meant to give it yesterday and um, I couldn't get to give it because I had to talk about that guy, that Kevin Smalls guy, not Kevin Small, <laughs> Kevin, what's his name? Kevin Samuels guy. He was hating on our sisters. Powerful video, you need to watch it. God, God, Ahaya killed him. Kevin Smalls, Ahaya killed him. The most die. Took him out. You need to watch the video. All right. So I had a very powerful vision, brothers and sisters. I had a vision to this 19th, to this 19th of May 2022. So I had a vision on the, around about the 15th, the 15th of May, 15th or the 14th of May, one out of the two, 2022, very, very powerful vision. No, they're not your friendly people. That's what the dirty sleezers will be coming out with soon. They're your friendly neighbors. And just as I, oh, the dirty devil is a, is a, oh, it's a nasty piece of work is that serpent. Nasty piece of work. But anyways, no, they're not your friendly neighbors. And I wouldn't be surprised if the dirty sleezers, just like what they're doing with the crane people, putting them up because of the war, if the dirty sleezers are going to come to us and say, oh, these things are friendly. You must home them. Bring them in your homes. Just as all, like I say, with the crane people and the war that the bear country is doing with them, and they're saying, oh, you need to house you can house the Ukraine people, the Ukrainians. You can house them. Then let them stay with you because the country is at war. Don't be surprised if the dirty sleezers don't come out and say, um, yeah, we need these beans to stay somewhere. Can you, oh, God, Jesus. The thought, oh, God. Father God, please, Lord, let your people wake up. These are not friendly creatures. Do not let them stay with you. Even if the dirty sleezers are offering you money. But anyways, I just felt led to say that. But um, these fallen ones, the Hollywood call them this word, isn't it? 
but we know them as the fallen ones. That's what we know them as. True children of the Most High, we call them the fallen ones, or fallen angels, because that's what they are. All right? Fancy name for them. But I had a vision, brothers and sisters, and it's a very disturbing one. Because I, I do get visions from time to time, and all of them are in my playlist concerning the fallen angels, the fallen ones. All right, but this one was very disturbing. Why was it disturbing? Because it felt real. Like I was actually living it. I, I could feel everything. In this vision that I received on about the 14th or the 15th of May 2022, I was... I was um, at a particular place. I don't know where it was. I cannot say. Sorry. Sorry, but this is just some background noises I can hear from, from upstairs. Okay. Um, where was I? Right. So in this vision, brothers and sisters, I was at the place. I don't know where it was, but there was loads of people, like lots and lots. It was, as, it, it was as if it was at a fun park, but I'm not sure. I cannot fully remember the surroundings, but I know that it was, we was like in a valley. Not a deep, deep, deep valley, but it had a little dip. And when you look up, it was like a little, little baby mountain around us. But it, it felt like a theme park or something like that. And everybody was doing their thing and what a view. And all of a sudden in the distance, <laughs> brothers and sisters, we heard screams. And we saw a bunch of people running towards us. And when they were running from the distance, when we saw them running towards us, you know when someone is running in, in chaos and in, in, and in fright and something horrible is happening and they were like brushing their hands like that. They were saying like, go, run away, run. That, that's what they were saying to all of us. And it got everybody's attention. So everybody stopped what they were doing. And we were looking at these people running towards us and they were like, go, run away and they began as they came closer and closer they went they are coming the fallen ones are coming they're here they're here they're coming run away run away so as the people got closer everybody believed that the fallen ones are coming and started to go in a panic now in this vicinity was a two rooms two big massive rooms and I heard when everyone said, let us all go into the room together. And when they say that I was trying to stop people, don't all bungle up in one room. Because if these fallen ones come and decide to do us anything, everybody's in the room. And you know what? Majority of the people went in the room. Majority. It was only about five of us went into a different room. Because I wasn't going to go into the room. Because everybody was in there and I'm thinking, well, if these fallen ones come and, and they're, going, they're wicked anyway, it's not like if they're going to be wicked, when they're going to be wicked, then they're going to take everybody out. So I went into a separate room and, um, and we, you know, we closed the door behind us. Brothers and sisters, actually, before I went into the, into the second room, when, because I went into the first room, when I realized it was so crowded, I came out. And that's when I said to people, come with me. It's just too crowded. Because these beings, if they're going to do us anything, everybody's going to, they're just going to kill everybody all at once because we're in one room. But they were saying, oh, there's safety in numbers. That's what they were saying, the people. There's safety in numbers. And it was only about, like I said, five of us left the room and went into the second room, which was empty. But as I was going into the second room, brothers and sisters, I want you to listen to me very carefully. And I'm going to try to describe what I see or what I saw, rather. As I was going into the second room with the next four people and myself make five. Remember I told you that around us was a little bit like a mountain. It's not a big massive mountain, but you know, a little steep, like a hill. I saw what appears to be tankers, but they weren't tankers because I've never seen these in all of my life. Like I've never seen, I know what tank looks like. And these, they had, they, they could pass for tank, but they weren't because they could fly in the sky. All right. And they could 
maneuver on water and they could run on the earth on the road and these tanks let me try to <laughs> let me try to describe them because they're state of the art i call them tanks because that, that's how i can call it but i think what i was looking at is a state of the art remember I told you that elmo elon musk i call him elmo remember i told you he's going to build state of the art flying saucers i think that's what i was looking at but it looks like tank but really and truly it were flying saucers but they landed and they were all around us they they just covered the perimeter when you look brothers and sisters and the thing about it is that they were so close by it's not like they had gaps they can run through no all of the flying saucers that landed were close together they had no, I can't even draw. Hold on, brother and sister. <laughs> don't laugh at my drawing. But I'm just trying my best to explain what I saw. But don't laugh at my drawing. It looks skinny. <laughs> oh my god. It's terrible, isn't it? But I'm just trying my best to draw. But anyways, so <laughs> look at it. <laughs> I'm just trying my best. I'm sorry, brother and sister. But anyways. <laughs> I'm sorry. So this is what I something like this I saw, but this bit that I color black this was red. I don't have any red. I have red crayon really somewhere in the place my kids. But um, this bit that I've colored black it's red. Like blood, like blood red. All right, um, and it it, it had a lid on top. <laughs> Look at me lid. It had a little lid on top of it. But it looks like a it looks like a tank, but it's not. But they all landed, and like I said, they could. They could um fly, they could go in water, and they could run on the road, and they were all packed neatly together, so there were no spaces for anybody to go. And when I look, brothers and sisters, this was before going to the road. The fallen ones came out of them. They look human. Shirt and tie and suit and all dressed up nicely. But the Lord said, well, you're looking at the fallen angels. Oh, my Lord. Fallen angels I was looking at. But they all came out of this tank flying saucer business. I then went into the room. Wasn't... It was very airy. You know that something is going to happen and it was, it's going to be very, very wicked. And brothers and sisters, when I went in the room, I began to hear screaming from the other room. Because remember, I told you they were all bungled up and they said all oh, their safety numbers, right? And there was only five of us in the other room. So we heard loads and loads of screaming like, no, no, you know, I don't want to go, don't want to go. In this room where I was, was some big windows. And it's like there was a a step up, like a step. You could step up to look outside and see what was going on. So when I heard the commotion and the screaming and all of that, I went on this step to peep out what was going on concerning um, the flying saucers pitching on the on the on the earth. All right. Brothers and sisters, in the vision, I had my mobile with me. And I remember begun to record because I said, because it felt so real. And I said, I'm capturing this and I'm going to tell my brothers and sisters on you, you, what I'm seeing. That the fallen ones are here. All right. That the flying saucers are here. The UFOs, you want to call them. Where's it gone? That they are here. And I'm gonna tell brothers and sisters what I'm what I'm what I'm looking at. The flying saucer. I don't even know what to call it. The tank UFO. This the tank flying saucer. I'm just gonna call it that for now. The tank flying saucer, brothers and sisters. It it, it opened up. It just just opened up wide. And now you could see everything that was going on. Brothers and sisters, 
I mean, I'm no soldiers. Uh, I'm not soldiers. I'm no soldier. I've never been into a tank. I don't know what inside look like. But you'd expect that in a tank you'll have guns, isn't it? You know, weapon and, we weapon and this and that. No, 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 no. On this tank, you were thought it was almost like a hospital. It was almost like a, a state-of-the-art theater. That's all I can describe it. I was looking at a theater when this flying saucer tank opened up fully. I remember all of this I was videoing in the vision. I caught it on the video in the vision, right? I remember I hear one guy screaming. When I look, it was a guy. He had no shirt on. He had the black trousers on, a black belt, a white trainers. He was human. And these fallen angel guy who had the human skin on were dragging him into the theater. And brothers and sisters, I remember when they pinned this guy. Because this guy wasn't skinny. This human guy, he wasn't skinny. When you look at him, he was quite muscular. He had this a pack and looked quite strong so it was like two fallen ones held him down and they shackled up his legs or his ankle and shackled up his arms on the bed on the theater bed and he began to cry and he said no no please let me go please let me go don't do this to me please let me go i don't know what the i don't know what the fluid is but it's blue some blue some vibrant blue gooey stuff i don't I, uh, but they pushed it down this guy's mouth the stuff that they um they use a tube like a tube thing like these wicked horrible creatures they Push this tube and this blue, vibrant blue, um, metallic color thing went all the way down into the guy. And when it, when they finished and they took the tube out, the guy wasn't crying anymore. His, his, his head was kind of slung to the side as if he were dead. But in my spirit, I knew it wasn't dead. I knew that there was, I just knew that they have somehow taken over his body. I don't know what that blue, gooey, metallic stuff represents. But somehow he was knocked out, but he wasn't dead. But in the vision... It felt like they've taken over his body. Because they got to do something to you before they take you over. They just can't just come up and just walk, in, walk into you like that. I think they've got to physically do something. And then they can... I don't know how, the, how these dirty devils are going to do it. But then they can take you over. And this is what they were doing with the people in the room. So ever so often you hear the scream of, oh, leave me alone, I don't want to go. And they bring them on the, 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 the UFO tank, state of the art tank. <laughs> Look at my drawing. Gosh, I wish I could draw. But yeah, something like that. He had, I don't know, he had some, I'm going to try to, it's really terrible, isn't it? I can't even draw. But he had some stuff on it. Brothers and sisters, I'm sorry. I'm just trying my best. But he had some stuff on it as well. <laughs> don't laugh at me, please. I'm trying my best to draw. I don't know. He got some little... Like... Edge. Edgy stuff. Pointy stuff to it. But it was red as well. So this bit was red. That bit was red. The edgy stuff was red, all right? Yeah, the laden tank, I don't know, can't, they can't draw, but that's the best way. <laughs> My kid is drawing, that's the best way I can describe it. It was very wicked though, but it was state of the art. 
because when I saw it, I thought there was like, you know, guns and guns and stuff and bomb. No, it was all like a hospital inside of it. Maybe it had guns and stuff in another part. But from what I saw in the vision when it opened up, it was a state of the art theater. It looks like a theater, hospital theater. The vision ended after that. And um, when I came out the vision, brothers and sisters, I said to myself, I said, these dirty sleezers, are, they're up to no good. These, these sleezers, because too many people are getting this UFO. I did a couple of videos, didn't I? I did a couple of videos the other day concerning Elmo and it's planned for black people and white people going to bars, all right? Um, Elon Musk, I'm talking, I call him Elmo. He's planned for them to go to, to, to Mars and what's gonna happen to black people, what's gonna happen to white people, the UFO stuff. Um, but something is desperately wrong. I would not be surprised. This is just me. So if it don't happen, don't come and say, oh, Sister Karen, you're a liar. You lied on the Lord. No, I didn't. This is me. This is me, Carrie and Gideon. This is not thus saith the Lord. No, this is me. My own feelings then, if you want. I would not be surprised if by the end of the year, we don't see something concerning this big time. them big time the falling ones something coming up huge and big by the end of the year i feel so if it doesn't happen it don't happen it doesn't matter it's gonna come out anyways but all things are speeding up in my spirit i feel like there's a speed that, that i don't know i feel like there's a speeding up to reveal these creatures these falling ones there's a speeding up to get these flying saucers into our atmosphere. There's a speed up in the spirit realm to get them out. Because time is short and time is the running. Satan is running out of time. But listen to me on the sound of my voice. Under no circumstances. Even if the dirty sleezers are paying you money. Even if the fallen ones look beautiful and pretty and they pretend to be children because they can shape shift into kiddies. Believe it or not, these dirty devils can shape shift into children. And even if the shape shift and the dirty Caesars are see, they've got little ones just like your little ones. Listen to me, you do not under no circumstances. I need to find that video. I really, Lord, please help me to find it. I don't know where it is. I had that powerful vision in 2016 concerning these ones and little children. Lots of little children went missing. And, and the parents had to be put on anti-psychotic medication because the parents were going mad because these dirty devils have eaten some of our kids. And the dirty sleezers came out and they said, Oh! These fallen ones are friendly. That's what they told us. It's a powerful vision I had in 2016. Very, very powerful. And they told us to lie to us and said, oh, the friendly, like the mix in the community. Time, we are here. They're going to come out. I need to find that video so I can, so I can um, put it out there. I have to try and find it. If I find it, I will put it out there and upload it again so you can watch it. But we are near, brothers and sisters. This is what we are near to the dirt. The sleezers are going to come and they're going to tell you that these beings are friendly. They are your friendly neighbors. You Listen, I cannot tell you what to do. But if you watch this channel, you have been warned. Under no circumstances, you let these creatures into your home. Under no circumstances, when these creatures shift, shift into children, you'll be like, oh, don't let, no, 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 stand your ground. These are wicked. These are creatures. 
that they basically they look like um the true form the true form um is i can't even pronounce it gross tech okay i'll keep on forget but anyways the true form looks like that movie pitch black with, with ben diesel pitch black with those creatures running up and down <sighs> brothers and sisters you have to wake up you really really have to wake up understand the times and the season the bible says yes i says the things coming up on the earth is going to be so shocking that men heart will fail them for looking at the things coming up on the earth it is going to happen i believe we are close and like i said me personally i would not be surprised by the end of the year the dirty sleezers come out and said oh we've got to you know we want to tell you something don't be afraid we've been in contact with extraterrestrials um and we've been speaking to them and they're not bad they're, they're good <laughs> the dirty devil is alive these are fallen angels these are satan devils so that's what they are and the dirty seasons are coming soon with something but anyways brother and sister so if you come to the end of the video and you watch this and if you have not accepted Yesiah as the lord and savior please repeat this um the sinner's prayer after me all right dear Yesiah the christ i know that you are the son of ahiah whom the world calls god i believe that Yesiah have died on the cross for my sins Yesiah, thank you for dying for me and i believe in your death burial resurrection and that ahiah has raised you from the dead i know with confidence that you are the son of ahiah and Yesiah, king of glory i come before you right now and i'm asking you to wash away all my sins and to forgive me for all that I have done wrong. I repent from my wicked ways. Ahaya, I thank you for your beautiful son, Yesaya. And I pray that you will help me to live a life of repentance and give up the things that's pleasing to you in this world. Thank you for salvation and for saving me. Hallelujah. This prayer will be linked in the description box in the pinned comment section. If you said it and you believe it, welcome to the body of Messiah. Leave a little comment in the comment section. We believe in Acts chapter 238. You've done repentance. The Bible says repent. You must confess your sin. You've done that. You've confessed unto the Most High. Um, but you need to follow through with the rest of the scripture. You need to be baptized. You need to find a man of the Most High. Ahaya, ask him to dip you, fully dip you, head to toe, soak you in water. You, It represents spiritual transformation. When you go down in water, you're saying to the Most High that you, um, you're saying to the Most High that you believe in his resurrection, um, in his atonement that he died on the cross for your sins. When the most high, when the son, when the uh, when the pastor, when the when the pastor raised you out of the water, passive pastor. But when the man of the most high, don't have to be a pastor. But when the man of the most high, higher, raised you out of the water, you are raised into Christ's resurrection. You're raised into new life. You're a new creature. Walk into walk in his glory. Okay. So be bold, be strong, be courageous. Walk with a higher, just like Enoch. All praises, all beautiful praises to the most star, higher who lives above the heavens. I eternally bless you. I love you all, and I will see you soon, someday in glory. In Yesiah's holy name, amen and amen, amen. Let's say the benediction together. It's Jude chapter 1, verses 24 to 25. The Bible reads, Not unto him that is able to keep you from falling, and to present you forth less, before the presence of his glory, with exceeding joy, to the only wise Yesiah, our Savior. Be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Amen and amen.